Okay, uh, good morning. Uh, today I'm going to teach you guys how to export your finished movie. Uh, it's, we're working on stop motion right now, but it could be any movie. Uh, but I'm going to teach you guys how to export it into your USB so that you can later put it into iDVD. Now the first thing I want to do, I want to make sure that iMovie is opened. I'm going to click on the project library and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, kind of look for my stuff. And for the example, I'm going to use my Mix Studio project. There it is. I'm just going to double click. Okay, make sure that everything's there. Okay, um, now the first thing that I'm going to do, obviously I'm assuming that uh, you're finished with your project, you're going to go to Share and you're going to go to export movie or you can do command E for export. Now this menu is going to pop up now. Sometimes you might see the menu a little smaller like this. Don't worry, just go ahead and uh, click the, the down drop button and it should take you to uh, the rest of the stuff. And you'll see that your device is there. Mine's called It's Melly Belly. Um, if you want, you can make a folder I already have a stop motion folder, but if you want to make a new one, just click new folder if you if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and now I need to decide. Do I want this to be something that I look at in my mobile phone? Uh, is it going to be something you know a little smaller, bigger? So you go. You have to go ahead and you need to decide that. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and export for the mobile device. And it's going to prepare your project, of course. Now, sometimes this might take a little bit of time. So it's really important, you know, that you guys use your time wisely. And you guys have to keep in mind that when you are exporting something, it is going to take some time. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and pause this for a second. Finished. It already exported into my USB and now uh, all you need to do is just open up iDVD you can do that here on your dock or you can look for it in the spotlight alright uh, what I did uh, in the menu option I selected a magic iDVD that's why you see this here now make sure you're gonna give your DVD a title um, since you're working on stop motion maybe you wanna call it stop motion 2013 or whatever your name is or whatever really Okay, now um, here, what I like to do, I like to look at all the themes and, you know, just check out what all my options are. Okay, mm, I'm going to put this one. All right, so you just make sure it's selected. Now, your movies, now you can either find them here in movies or in the case of... Uh, where we exported something into the memory. I'm going to go ahead and double click the memory and I think I have it in a stop motion folder. Okay, so I remember it was Mix Studios so I'm going to simply just click and drag it here and I'm going to let go and there it is. So that's one way that you can do it. Obviously I also had something else here saved uh, let's see. Maybe I can put this one too. Alright, so remember the idea was to have three stop motion films. Alright, when, once you have that, um, you can go ahead and create the project. Or if you're not really sure yet and you just kind of want to see how the themes are going to look, you may click on Preview. So it's just going to show you more or less what it's going to look like. Okay? If you don't like it or if you're you're finished looking at the the options, simply click here. Obviously your movies are going to be right here. But I'm going to exit for now. And what I want to do, I want to create the project. Okay. So there I have my stuff. Now, obviously, you can see here that we can select this. Now there's an option here in iDVD uh where it's called buttons, and you actually can customize the buttons, make them look, you know, different if you want. You can do shapes. Uh, we also have 
frames, or I like to go to use the artistic one. The little heart. That's just me. Uh, if you don't want a button, obviously you can go ahead and select none. But for the example, I'd like to use this one. Okay. Um, obviously, remember that you know you can insert media. Maybe have a really really cool photo. For the example, I'm gonna go ahead and use this pic. Okay, and you can see that um, it'll go ahead and show up. It'll look really nice. Now you'll see your title here, and you can go ahead and you can press play if you want to see how it looks. Um, remember that you might want to insert some audio. So I'm going to go ahead and put, I don't know, I'm going to put whatever pops up. Simply click and drag that song that you might have and just put it in the background. And then you can press play and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, you have that. Oh, I have the volume all the way down. Okay, so there you see. I have my, my option. I'm going to go ahead and click on my movies. And it'll show me what I have going on there. So I can go ahead and select the one that I want. And it should show up. Great. You just want to make sure that you have everything there. I have one, two, three. When I'm finally ready to record, I can do one of two things. All right. Uh, what I want I'm to do. Go ahead and press the burn button. Now you only do this when you're really ready. Now here you actually can save your menu, all the work that you've done, just in case you can press save as. Maybe you're not ready to burn it yet. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it in my USB. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it in my stop motion folder. Now obviously you can see that it's going to be a, a DVD project a file, okay, which is fine. And you just press save. Okay, so that is one way for you to do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to quit iDVD. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks in my memory. I'm going to double click the memory. I'm going to go to my stop motion folder. And as you can see here, there I have it. So all I have to do, I just double click. Okay. And there it is. So obviously, you know, if you don't use the, com the same computer in class, that's okay. You can simply remember, do a file, save as, save your project to your memory. That way you don't lose all the hard work that you've put into it. Okay, guys? And when you're finally ready to go ahead and record or burn your DVD, simply pop in the disk and you click on the burn button, which is right here. Now you record it using the program iDVD. I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you all in class. Good luck with your movies. Bye-bye.